How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Viral Frags, and Tim coming you guys with another video. Okay, guys, so this video is going to be on the division. This is my division Nomad build. I know a lot of you guys have already seen this build, and you guys have seen a lot of other YouTubers build, but I just want to show you guys this build. This is called the Hulk build. Um, so, anyways, guys, let's get right into it. Okay, so as you guys can see across the stats up top, we have two nine five four firearms 10,103 stamina and electronics 2,961 um basically you guys can see my firearms toughness and skill power all up top as you guys see right there and we're gonna get right to this okay so the first weapon that we're using is the lightweight m4 um 23% enemy armor damage 14.9k damage um we're using self-preserve sustain and predatory and here are all my mods that i'm using on it there you guys go right there Okay, so the second weapon we're using is also a lightweight M4, and I think this one is pretty uh, much the best one on this class. I don't know why I like this one a lot. Um, it has 20% enemy armor damage, 14.5k damage, sustain, predatory, and responsive. Yeah, we like to put responsive in the last slot. I was really happy with this roll because I can use responsive in the last slot, and it could just give me some more damage when I'm out there in PvP or PvE. I do use this build to troll a little bit in PvE in the dark zone. It's pretty much one of the best builds to use to troll i don't really run away with it but it is really good and really fun to use to troll as you guys can see right here we're using the double barrel sawed off shotgun it's got capable and predatory we're using just predatory and determined for um just like if someone's down or something we can hit them if we're playing in last stand or skirmish if you guys ever play that kind of game mode okay so the armor piece that we're using is the obviously a nomad classified 2003 armor on it there go the rules right there we're using 11 percent in uh exotic damage resilience you guys all know what the um what the six piece is right so okay so this is basically all the sets right here set three bonus nomad resolve set four path to the nomad set five improve nomad resolve and the nomad link the nomads of luck this is the best thing about this build this will really makes you the hulk guys this thing can just keep you alive for so long um so basically now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys the knee pads the knee pads we're using are rode into stamina as well as everything else on this build um you guys can see we went to 16,000 health on um 16,000 health as you guys can see right there and the holster is the holster of the nomad as you guys can tell obviously and this is the rolls on it i'm really liking this roll it's almost maxed out as you guys can see right here all we need to do is get the first slot for firearms maxed out to 1400 and we're using some gloves as you guys can see assault rifle damage critical hit damage and skill haste the skill haste probably could be rolled into something better than that i don't know why like crit hit chance or something like that or enemy armor damage but yeah guys there's the gloves right there and as you guys can see here goes the backpack we're running the backpack obviously it's rolled into stamina and we got health on there for the minor attribute and ammo capacity you got to expect an ammo capacity with this build only because we're depending on so much for these uh lightweight m4s if you have smgs you guys can go with smgs if you want i say just roll into critical hit chance and critical hit damage like i did it's going to help you guys out a lot down the road but yeah as you guys see with these talents right here these talents are really good for keeping you alive the critical hit um gives you heal uh heals the user as you guys can see and killing um a target with sustained on it gives you six percent um health and that's really good plus killing a target regener regenerates 35 health over 20 seconds that's predatory as you guys can see with this gun right here you guys can basically keep yourself alive a lot longer with this gun if you, someone that had the same exact build did not have this gun and yeah guys you just gotta abuse those talents on this first gun right here it's, it's like really good for you guys to use that and as you guys can see over here in the character sheet i'm gonna go ahead and show you right now we only have 8.5 critical hit chance i'm pretty wait let me see guys sorry about that um okay yeah we only have 8.5 critical hit chance and almost 100 percent critical hit damage and the headshot damage is 81 percent we're gonna keep going down guys we have no damage to the elite because this is really not a pve build we have 31 percent health on kill this is really gonna help you guys out a lot keeping yourself alive even if you are using this for pve but if you are in last stand and stuff and you get someone while they're knocked down or in a dark zone someone's knocked down you guys can easily use this to get your health back uh, our enemy armor damage is 20 percent as you guys can see right here and our skill power and skill haze really doesn't matter we have nine percent skill haze as you guys can see our total toughness is seven hundred seven seven wow 723,000. as you guys see right here our max health is almost 50,000. that's really really good we're running 40 482,000 for our max health almost 483,000. and the armor on here as you guys see we have 33.21 uh armor mitigation as you guys see right there 
protection from release none of this really matters guys we have 22 percent uh exotic damage resilience you guys can use other mods and stuff to um get that higher but on my on all my loadouts for all my um all my gear sets and all my pieces i'm using the stamina mods with stamina with um health mods on them as you guys can see okay guys so that is the hawk build i hope you guys did enjoy this and if you guys haven't seen my last video or my last two videos to see how to get this mask guys you guys can go check that out right now if you don't have a mask it's probably the easiest way but you want to do it right now guys it's going to be really easy if you do it right now anyways guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below if you got anything to say comment down below if you want to see another video if you guys think of something that you want to see you guys can just comment down below obviously and anyways guys peace out